Hello, welcome everyone to our video blog. Today I will show you how to disassemble the HP 6000 series. It had a problem with overheating. We should change uh, thermal paste under the GPU and the CPU uh, processor unit. I think that the paste is old and we it should be replaced with new paste. So what we need? We need a precision screwdriver. Uh, the Philips standard and that kind of screwdriver. Uh, we should need some gloves to protect the motherboard from uh, electrostatic discharge. We also need some box when you put a screw there so none of the screw can get lost. And we need some uh, thermal paste. I buy a silver based thermal conducting paste. It's good for that kind of high quality electronics ins like inside this laptop, this notebook. So let's begin. First of all, you should uh, remove a battery. You should just push it here and the battery just pops up. We can put in the safe place the battery. Another thing we should do, we should unscrew these two screws under the side. It's a hard disk, hard drive. The plastic cover just pop up. And there's uh, some plastic tape here. We pull it out and the drive comes out. We should uh, put the hard drive in some safe place, very safe place. Another thing, we unscrew the screw here. It's hold the CD-ROM here. The screw must be get out of the hole. Just put it outside the box and slightly take it off and see the ROM disk is ours. Then we should unscrew this old screw here. Where where was the battery? Here all over around. Here is the screw responsible for the keyboard. There is a little keyboard printed on the under this screw. The next thing we should do is unscrew this two screws which hold this plastic cover. Just pop up, it will be no problem. So what have we here? What have we we have uh, an antenna here on one of the antenna wires uh, marked by two number and the plug was is number one by one. I will write down here on this Wi-Fi model. Second cable can came here on the right side and the plug cable on the left side. Okay. There is also screw inside here. Unscrew this bolt right here. That's one screw. And second, we need a special key. It's three at sixteen inch. So let's do it. Be gently with it because we are touching a motherboard with this wrench. It's one came off. The second, uh, we also put out the antenna cable. Put it like here. Open it. Just put the finger inside and just two should pop up the front the touch panel. When we put out the keyboard, we should unplug these uh, uh, two wires here. The touch panel is almost free. There's also 
one one cable here. It's okay. The, the touch panel is ours. Then you should unplug the cable from the LCD. Screw the screw here and here to release the the screen. So let's do that. Oh, don't remember to pull out this socket here and the cable come right there to the touch to the screen. I think now the screen is ours. The screw there is a black screw here to remove this plastic panel right there. It should just pop out. Okay. We will be releasing this panel from the main board. There's a two black screw, one on the left side, one on the right, and the one silver here and the silver here. So unscrew it. Then you should put the finger right here and use a little force. It should just pop out. And don't remember, release a uh, wire here. There's the wire for the teach pad. We should put out the remote control. There's a four screws here, one, two, three, four. We should unconnect the, the wire here and it should came out of here. Okay, so if you want to release the motherboard from the cover, there's a one silver screw in the here. Screw it. It was the only screw which catch the motherboard with the plastic cover. Just pop it out here, suck it right here, one cable, just pull it out. Okay, the second one from the USB port, from the microphone uh, jack and the headphone. And the motherboard is ours. Okay, I will tell you honestly, the dust is almost everywhere. I will release this radiator from the GPU and the CPU unit. There's a two screws here and three here. Okay, pulled out the power socket for the fan. Okay, it came off. No problem. Change this thermal paste in here on the CPU. Bye.